Ajax is a group of techniques which is implemented on the client side for creating asynchronous, fast, and dynamic web content. The acronym Ajax means Asynchronous, JavaScript, and XML. It is a web browser technology independent of any web server software. Ajax allows to send and retrieve data from a server asynchronously at the back end without disturbing the display. This technique, therefore, negates the need of reloading a web page, where classic web pages have to be reloaded if their content changes at the back end. Some of the popular applications that use Ajax are Google, Facebook, and YouTube. The technologies that have been grouped together to form Ajax are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and XML HTTP request. It is highly recommended for a user to learn the basic concepts of HTML and JavaScript before learning how to use Ajax. Let's do some basic Ajax techniques with the help of the above-mentioned technologies. We will start by making an HTTP request to the server using JavaScript. For that, we need to make an instance of the class XML HTTP request found for all the web browsers. In case of Microsoft Internet Explorer, the similar method exists in an ActiveX object called XML HTTP. With that done, we will use a JavaScript function to work on the response that we will receive. But first, we will have to set a reference to the ready state changed property of our XML HTTP request object. The reference should be the name of the JavaScript function that needs to run when the state of the request changes. In order to make a request to the server, we will use the open and send methods of the HTTP request class. The first parameter for the open method of HTTP request can be get, post, or head based on your requirement. The second parameter for the open method is the URL that you wish to request. The third and the optional parameter will be set as true to ensure the method is called asynchronously. The parameter for the send method takes in any data you wish to send to the server with the post request. The data should be in a format that can be easily parsed, such as a query string, or in JSON or SOAP format. Now that the request has been sent, we need to turn back to the response processing JavaScript function that we discussed earlier. At first, it should check for the request state. If the value is 4, then it means the server response has been successfully received, and thus processing should be done. The state values range from 0 to 4, each with a distinct ready state. Then we look at the response code of the HTML server response. The W3C website lists all the codes that can be used. After that, you have two ways of obtaining the data sent by the server, the response text method and the response XML method. The latter one gives you an XML document that you can access via JavaScript DOM functions. In this example, we use the 200-OK OK response code to check for a successful or unsuccessful AJAX function.